basically like, are we seeing any trends and where a majority of our marketplace partners are serving? Like, what are the problems that they're trying to solve? Is that where you're trying That's to right. market? Yes. yes. Yeah, I, I think we do. So there's a few areas that we see a lot of partners in. One of them is reality capture, right? There are mm. a lot of solutions out there to take 360 photos, whether it's laser scans, there's a lot happening in that space. And I think that's really interesting for folks for a lot of different reasons. Now, the capture process, there's a lot of partners. Then the, what I'll call progress tracking, there's a set of partners that have spun out mm-hmm. of that. And so that's definitely a hotbed. I'll also say, like, I usually give this pitch to VCs when I talk to them. I go, the reason you don't see like 25 different companies solving the same problem in the context space is because it is still a wide open field. And what I mean by that is there are still so many unsolved problems in construction that why would you go and build a technology to compete with 20 other people when you could go and pick another problem where there might be nobody or maybe there's one person, Mm -hmm. right, that's trying to solve that problem. And so this has really actually been an interesting thing to watch over the last several years because we've seen the fact that the people are, are jumping onto new problems instead of mm-hmm. it getting too competitive in one specific space, mm-hmm. which is means that we're able to cover more ground. So we're seeing a lot of things pop up in pre-construction. We're seeing things like, for example, pop up in like CRM specifically mm-hmm. for construction, which probably nobody ever would have thought of, but mm-hmm. like, People don't want to use Salesforce for construction. It's not yeah. purpose built, right? It's came out with dynamics. the other day, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like, and there's a different need. They think of CRM differently, right? It's about project and pursuit tracking. It's mm-hmm. not about people and contacts. Mm-hmm. And so, and then you have the introduction, I will say, of new technology, right? So right now, chat GPT, large language models. So we're seeing a lot of influx of partners that are using those type of technologies to solve different problems as well. And that that's really exciting too, because I think it's just going to continue to grow. The investing has been really strong. The venture, you're seeing people come to this industry because it's shown that it's very resilient, right? Like uh, other industries may be struggling, but construction still building a ton, right? There's so much work to do. And so I think a lot of people are still willing to put money into this space. And it's not a crowded space also. So I think we're, we're still like on the upward climb of the number of startups we're going to see in the contact space for quite some time. Interesting. So on the flip side to that question, is it any technology missing? Clearly that there's not many people looking into a particular direction. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know it's a difficult question to answer. Say, yeah, it, I'll try and I'm going to answer it. I'm going to be there must somewhat be, vague. There or... must be areas that there is abundance of yeah. uh, founders developing, trying to break into. Yeah. Other areas are either like robotics probably are more expensive to do anything as it's tangible product. Yeah. Um, so, yep. um, yeah, do you see that? That there is some areas there, that are not There touched? definitely is. Mm. There definitely is. I'll highlight two areas and I'll be a little bit like vague on purpose just because I think it's important. Like, I don't want to like tip off anybody on something that somebody might be building, not even us, but like mm-hmm. a partner that I've talked to. I think there's still a tremendous amount of green space, white space, call it what you want in pre-construction, mm-hmm. right? We are seeing a big upward trend in the importance of pre-construction. And we are seeing a big upward trend in the need to do things prior to starting a project. And I think what everybody solved for first was the execution. It's one of the reasons that we started to enhance our pre-construction offerings. But mm-hmm. there's still so many things that estimators, quantity surveyors, pre-construction managers do. And there's just not a, pl- a lot of players that mm-hmm. have been traditionally focused on that space. Another one that's tied to pre-construction is what I'll call design management, not actually like drawing and models, but more so like tools for designers to manage projects. Uh-huh. There, like there's some legacy players there, but I think you're going to see some innovation and some ways for them to have some tools. The challenge in that space is that we all know, like traditionally, architects and engineers don't spend a lot of money because their fees are very, very slim, even more so than general contractors. So it becomes a tough market to get into. And then I think the other space, and you know, it's one of the reasons that we made a, a big investment here is around workforce and labor. I still think that it is a very underserved area of construction. There's some really good solutions out there, but there's not enough of them. 
And there's a lot of people trying to solve, a lot of smart people coming from other industries trying to solve this labor problem. And I think there's still a lot that can be done on the technology side. We have a lot of work to do as an industry on the recruitment and the retention and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But there's going to end up being more and more tools that are geared towards the workforce in the long term, uh, in my opinion. And then, yeah, yeah, robotics is super popular. Artificial intelligence, super popular. So we're seeing all kinds of solutions pop up around that. And then sustainability, right? I think that's a space that until probably the last year and a half or two years was incredibly underserved. We've seen a lot of people enter that space in the last uh, couple of years. Yeah, the way you describe it, it sounds like there's still a ton of opportunity out there. I think pre-construction yeah. is like where a project is actually made or broken. Yes. Like if you get it all wrong and people often rush to pre-construction, that's what you inherit the problems during construction and that causes all the headaches. Yeah. Which technology, I'm not sure there's a solution out there to uh, resolve yet. 